Dallas, Texas. Good morning. You're on with Brian Stelter. Yes, good morning. Um, good morning. I just had to I call in because I think CNN is so liberal, and I think Fox is great. And as far as um, um, the uh, election, I'm glad that Biden won, even though I'm a conservative. I did not want Trump to win. Uh, a second uh, time, uh, and um, but I watch Fox News because I feel like that uh, they they are fair and balanced. And CNN, I can't watch it, I, you know. And I wish I could. And MSNBC, they're worse than CNN. And I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm a conservative, but I'm not part of the right. So that that's my comment. Y'all have a good morning. Brian Stelter. Thank you. I appreciate your comment, and I, and I hope you'll give me a chance in the future. Uh, I think that it's important that CNN uh, cover all the news, uh, not from a liberal point of view, not from a conservative point of view, from a reality-based point of view. That's our job. If we fall down on the job, we want to know, and, and we want the feedback. Uh, I sometimes give out my email address on TV because I want viewers to know, if you think we're getting it wrong, tell us. Tell us what to do. Uh, my email address, by the way, is bstelter at, at gmail.com. I'll give it out here as well. Uh, but I do think it's important that we, we be reality-based. <laughs> Some cable news shows that are almost purely entertainment, uh, talk shows that only bring on one side, um, you know, ranting and raving about made-up controversies. And of course, I'm talking about Fox when I say that. Uh, there are cable news shows that interview newsmakers and world leaders. Do you think CNN does that too? Uh, well, what shows are you talking about? Um, I think at, at times you, you do have some very opinion-based shows at nighttime like you do on Fox. So which ones? Oh, okay, wow. This guy is just a master of misdirection. Stelter is, of course, unreliable. Just look at this article that he wrote in 2009 about Obama's war on Fox News. He quotes Obama describing Fox News as, quote, part of the political opposition, a position that Brian Stelter currently takes. His article does little more than echo and bolster the Obama administration's complaints about Fox, such as, you'd be hard-pressed if you watched an entire day to find a positive story about me on that front. I never claim to have a good Obama impersonation. I want to move into more of a broader discussion about cable news. And I've watched a lot of it on, on all three of the major networks. And I would argue that when you watch cable news, you don't actually learn as much as you would if you watched like what are the network shows that you watch the nightly news or morning show. And a lot of it is moved into more opinion based shows. Um, do you think, would you agree with that assertion that you could probably learn more of what's going on in the news from either reading the newspaper or watching maybe the nightly news? Well, I think it depends on what program you're talking about. I think cable news is too broad a brush uh, for yeah. a conversation about, um, about like what, you know, what the, the, the amount of content, the amount of information. There are some cable news shows that are almost purely entertainment. Uh, talk shows that only bring on one side, um, you know, ranting and raving about made up controversies. I'm confused. Is he talking about himself and CNN? Is he talking about MSNBC? When do either of these networks or the rest of the mainstream media for that matter ever bring on opposing points of view? It's increasingly rare and I can't think of a time in recent memory that Brian Stelter has brought on opposing points of view. So I don't know, maybe he's just doing some kind of self-reflection here. After all, CNN just got sued for millions of dollars for manufacturing a story that targeted innocent kids who were actually the victims simply because one of them was wearing a MAGA hat. Then there was that time you promoted Jesse Smollett's fake hate crime story, again, because it involved MAGA hats. Or I don't know, how about the last four years of you claiming Trump is a Russian agent who was colluding with Russia? That didn't exactly turn out the way reliable Stelter said it would. <laughs>